An isotope of the element erbium has a half-life of approximately 10 hours. Initially, there are 7 grams of the isotope present. Part A, write the exponential function that relates the amount of substance remaining, A of t, measured in grams as a function of t, the time in hours. There's a couple ways to write an exponential function for half-life. We'll use the method where the base is equal to 1 half. And therefore, we'll have A of t, the amount after t hours is equal to the starting amount of 7 grams times 1 half, not raised to the power of t though. If the exponent was t, the half-life would be 1 hour. Because the half-life is 10 hours, we need an exponent of 1 when t is 10, and therefore we use t divided by 10. Notice when t is 10, the exponent is 1, we'd multiply 7 by 1 half, leaving half the amount. If the half-life, for example, was 5 hours, the exponent would be t divided by 5. If it was 20 hours, it'd be t divided by 20, and so on. For part b, we're asked to determine the rate at which the substance is decaying after t hours, and we're told to use exact values. To determine the rate at which the substance is decaying after t hours, we need to determine a prime of t. Notice the function a of t is an exponential function where the base is equal to 1 half, and the exponent is not just t, it's t divided by 10, and therefore we'll have to use the derivative formula for the derivative of a to the u, where u is equal to t divided by 10, or 1 10th t, and a is equal to 1 half. The derivative of a to the power of u with respect to x equals natural log a times a to the u times u prime. In our case, notice a, the base is 1 half, u is the exponent of t divided by 10, if we want 1 tenth t, and therefore u prime is a derivative of 1 tenth t with respect to t, which is 1 tenth. This is all the information we need to determine a prime of t. a prime of t is equal to seven times the derivative of 1 half to the power of t divided by 10 with respect to t, which is natural log a, which is natural log of 1 half, times a to the power of u, which is 1 half to the power of t divided by 10, and then times u prime, where u prime is 1 tenth. Let's go ahead and write the derivative function as a prime of t equals 7 tenths natural log 1 half times 1 half raised to the power of t divided by 10. And finally for part c, we're asked to determine the rate at which the substance is decaying after two hours we're told to round to four decimal places. To answer this question, we need to determine a prime of two. a prime of two is equal to seven tenths times natural log one half times one half to the power of two tenths, which of course simplifies to one fifth. But now we'll grow the calculator. And again, round to four decimal places. We need to seven divided by 10, right arrow, Natural log is under functions. Go back to main, enter in one divided by two, right arrow, close parenthesis, open parenthesis, one divided by two, right arrow, close parenthesis, raised to the one-fifth power, we get the exponent key. Now because we have a fractional exponent, we need the exponent in parentheses. We have open parenthesis, one divided by five, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. Round to four decimal places, we have approximately negative 0.4224. And the units on this rate would be grams per hour. So again, after two hours, the substance is decaying at a rate of negative 0.4224 grams per hour. I hope you found this helpful.